Today, we're gonna to talk about intuition in a way that's a little bit unusual, but I hope it will unlock some doors for you. And if you're new to this channel, do not hesitate to click subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification button because I wanna join you on your intuitive journey. While this topic today might be slightly unusual, uh, something that's not most frequently talked about, you could say, it's an important one. It's a really important one. I was talking to somebody earlier about the approach to intuition and how a very old school way to look at opening up your intuition is that it's a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Throw that out the window. Just throw that out the window for a minute, please. <laughs> because I want to talk today about how it's not necessarily something you get, something you gain. It's already within you. It's already amplified at 100%. So I'm going to do a little bit of review, and, and then I'm going to talk about really how you're wired and you learning how to figure out how your intuitive channel is wired and how it flows. That's the gold. It's not the muscle that you have to keep using to, you know, because I've gone through periods of time where I haven't used my intuition for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, right, I'm using it frequently and with the exact same intensity that it was that I hadn't used it two months before. So it's not something that gets stronger or better as, we, as you use it, as you acquire it. It's something that gets stronger and better as you figure out how it works within you. And that's what this whole session is. Stick with me on this. Let's start with a few basics. Now, you might have already taken the SAGE method course, uh, so these basics are gonna be a reminder, or you might be in the SAGE circle, online spiritual community. Love to have you in there. Um, that's my SAGE circle family. And this will be a reminder for you as well, but you might be new here. This might be the first time you've ever met me. So here we go. Doesn't matter if it's a reminder or if it's a brand new information, it's great to hear. And the first thing is everyone's intuitive. Everyone is 100% intuitive. This concept that it's a muscle, that you need to use it to grow it, we're throwing that out. We're throwing that out. And we're understanding that it's already there. It is as if information comes from your spirit, from source, from guides. That information, here's the piece that a lot of us don't talk about, that information has to make its way through your programming. It has to make its way through your conditioning, your personal programming. It has to make its way through your tendencies, your habits, and your beliefs that were structured throughout your life in order to come through to the physical body, speak through the other five senses. Here's the other piece. Our intuition is our sixth sense that uses the other five senses to communicate. Once we have that concept and we understand, okay, it's coming through spirit, it's coming through our programming, through our conditioning, and then it's, it's landing in our nervous system and, and resonating through these five senses, that's when we go, okay, I can see, feel, hear, et cetera, et cetera, taste, smell, name it, right? Throw a bunch of clairs in there. That's just, that's a way of saying most of this is coming through our five senses. So everyone's incredibly intuitive. If you feel that your intuition isn't very open, chances are good there's some blocks there, there's some personal programming that is in the way. Once we start to identify that, then we can release that personal programming, disconnect from it, you could even say, we can step aside from it or we can step it aside. Whatever it takes to get out of your own way, that's really a fantastic term when it comes to training your intuition. Practice, practice, practice is one approach. Figuring out how you're getting in your way is, is a hands down 110% better approach because your accuracy is gonna be directly connected to really you getting in your own way. <laughs> Are you examining the situation, um, judging it, analyzing it, overthinking it, putting your opinion into it? All of these things is in this nice little box that I call getting in our own way. So intuition when it comes to expanding it is more about learning how you work than it is about how many times you've tapped in. Doesn't matter how many readings you've done, what matters is how much work you've done on identifying how your intuitive channel flows. With that said, let's get into the meat of this session. When it comes to what I wanna talk about today, I wanna discuss 
understanding that everyone's intuition is different and how that speaks to you in your personal wiring. I'll give you an example first. That's how I teach. I love examples. I was at a workshop recently in Portland. I do live in-person workshops every now and then, and I love it because I get to teach like one-on-one, um, you know, in, in-person live groups. And we're doing intuitive experiments because that's my jam, and I love doing intuitive experiments. And we're doing these experiments, and one woman who was doing a reading for another was set up in such a way that she was near the person she was reading, and then she read for a little bit. She opened up her intuitive channel, relaxed, saw what she you know felt, saw, felt, and heard, and smelled and tasted what came through. Then she held herself out far apart and across the room from a distance. So she tapped into the person that she was reading when they were energetically close, and then she tapped into the person she was reading when they were energetically far apart. When we opened up the discussion of how did it feel? And that's what you should be asking yourself. After you have an intuitive moment, you should be going back and reviewing. How did that intuition feel? How did it flow through me? Like what happened? Every time you do that, that's where you're getting into that training of, okay, this is what it feels to like be in this absolute intuitive space versus me getting in my own way. But back to the story. So this woman um, shared with the group and with myself that it was really interesting when she was close to the person she was reading, she got a lot of details about the situation that the person was dealing with. When she was far away from her energetically, she got the emotions of the situation the woman was dealing with. This was perfect. And this is a great example because I was able to compare myself with her because for me, if I need to get emotions around a situation or, or something intuitive that I'm picking up, I need to pull in very close to it. I need to be near it. And this was a great example because here's, here's what this means. That woman's personal programming, uh, you know, things that she experienced along the way, what I said to her was, when big emotional situations happen, how do you react? And she says, I give myself some distance. And I said, this is awesome because when big emotional things happen with me, I'll pull in closer. This is why for her, she can pick up emotions intuitively at a distance easier. For me, I can pick up emotions intuitively close to the energy. Two different ways of reading two different intuitive channels, two different ways of being wired. And this is, this is what I mean when I say, hey, start to think about how you're intuitively wired, how it flows through you, because it's unique. It's absolutely unique. And how your intuition flows through your system is going to be directly connected to how your personal programming exists within your system, how your, your upbringing, your patterns, your tendencies, how you handle things. Are you uncomfortable in a crowded space? Perhaps you can read about intuitively easier about things that are involving crowds when you're at a distance. Where is your comfort level in different things in your life? That, that comfort level is probably going to line up to how you hold yourself intuitively to pick up information of that type. What I'm saying here in essence is start to think in terms of how am I wired in my human life? How am I wired? How do I handle different situations? How do I experience joy? How do I experience fun? How do I, how do I handle fear or how do I handle a heavy situation? And then when you're tapping in and you're having intuitive moments, hopefully you are, (laughs) when you're doing that, hopefully you'll start to see a pattern. When I do this, it's a little easier to get this. When I do this, it's a little easier to get this. For me, when I pull my energy farther back, it's easier for me to get information about a situation. But when I pull my energy in close, it's easier for me to get information about the emotion behind the situation. For this woman at the workshop, The opposite was true. We're both absolutely perfect, (laughs) absolutely beautiful, and absolutely intuitive in our own right. But this is a great example to show you the difference. Your intuition is going to work for you in a way that it doesn't work for anyone else. And it's going to directly flow in conjunction to your MO, 
what you're used to, <laughs> how you how your comfort level is in different situations. If you're an introvert, you're probably going to do readings better isolated and on the phone. If you're an extrovert, you're probably going to do readings better at a live fair where there's crowds all over the place. So intuition is indeed directly connected to personality, tendencies, programming, and all I really want to do for this session is invite you to know that. Because when you know that and you allow that awareness into your conscious being, when you have intuitive experiences moving forward, you'll be like, oh, that is interesting. Yeah. When I do this, it's easier to get this. Or when I hold myself this way, I get more information about this, this, or this. This can be true about mediumship versus psychic. If I'm, you know, if it's morning, maybe it's easier to do mediumship. Afternoon or evening, maybe it's easier for psychic information. This is the exploration I want you to do. So I want you to advance from the base concept of keep doing it and you'll get better. That's, that's like beginner level intuition. What I want you to do is take the next step and really learn about yourself. Really pay attention. Give yourself those moments where you review what did happen when I had that intuitive experience? What was going on? What did I pick up easily? What did I struggle picking up? This is the stuff that's going to advance you. This is the stuff that's going to help you to link in with more ease. There will be a time with this expansion of your growth by acknowledging that you're wired uniquely and it's your job to figure out how you're wired you're going to start exploring, experimenting, trying this, trying that, trying this. You're going to find a little bit of fun in the whole process. When you have an intuitive moment, even if it comes out of the blue, if you can give yourself 30 seconds to sit down after the intuitive moment and analyze what happened, you're going to start to see your pattern. And when you see your pattern, your intuition is going to just slam open. It's going to be so much easier to get information, so much easier to anchor in, and so much easier to really know, all right, when I need it, here's how I can use it. So please have fun with this. Jump in. If you're not quite sure where to start, uh, I've got the course called the Top 5 Intuitive Tools, and I think it's the second portion of the course. There's like five portions to the course. It's a free course. So jump in by all means. I put this course together purposely for everyone to start using and playing with their intuition and exploring it. But I think it's the second series in that top five intuitive tools where it's guide communication and defocusing. That that exercise in that, in that free course, that's gold. And that's where you can start to figure out, oh, it came through like this. And then give yourself that, that moment to review it. Most of all, have fun with it. Here's another one to help you have fun with it and play with your intuition and see how things go. Click this video next. It's going to help tremendously.